All right, guys, welcome back to WMST. This is our second official episode, and we have the full crew on for our second official episode. So we're going to start with the introductions. Uh, so we're going to start with Hound here. Hound, introduce yourself. Yo, what up, boy? Type it after the chat. So yeah, it's Hound. Just call me Hound, I guess. Uh, wrestling super cool. Uh, what's your Instagram again? Let let the uh, know. My Instagram is that wrestling hound. All right, sounds good. And we got Tyler here too. Uh, I just gotta say, Loki's the best character of all time. That's all. Shut up. No. That's not Thanos. <laughs> I didn't see. Yeah. No. Tyler, let him know your Instagram. Killmonger uh, says otherwise. Raw Ziggy, the oldest account on Instagram. Yes, sir. All right. And of course, we got the returning crew here. We got Ziggler here. Yo, what up? Nice. And of Sean's course, a cunt. <laughs> and the enigmatic Cam. I, I don't know if he likes that name, but I like to call him. I don't. Yeah, Oof. all right. I'll come up with a new one next week. Just and of course, <laughs> we got Sean here. Yes, we do. Best for last. Woohoo. Yes, sir. All right. So. All right, let's get started with the topic. So the first topic we're talking about today is, uh, so there was a um, investors call recently for a lot of companies and Disney specifically had a lot of uh, interesting tidbits coming out of that conference call. Uh, so one of them being uh, how much Disney's investing in uh, Disney uh, Plus, their streaming service rumored to be coming out sometime late this year or uh, late next year so i don't know if, about you guys but i'm personally not that interested in subscribing right away but i wanted to know what you guys think would make you subscribe to the service because i know they probably have all their movies and stuff from their rich catalog of uh, 40 plus years of movies and tv shows but I think for a demograph like 18 plus uh, male would probably need more than that to uh, sustain subscribers and, you know, gain subscribers. So we're going to start with Tyler. Tyler, let us know what would you have Disney plus, uh, what uh, programmings, what kind of uh, features you would like to see from Disney plus that would make you subscribe to them. Well, basically, I think they should have all their movies to begin with. And I think the only reason I would get it would be the Marvel series, honestly. <laughs> the Scarlet Witch, Vision, Loki, Winter Soldier, Falcon. That's basically the only reason I'm thinking about getting it. Not even sure if I will yet. And what kind of pricing is, like, ideal for you? Like, what would you be willing to pay? Probably, like, 10 buck. What's the usual for, like, Netflix and all that? Yeah, it's like around eleven dollars right now. Yeah, I would say ten, eleven then. Yeah. Just the normal pricing. Yeah, it's interesting. And are you interested in any of their? Because I know they want Star Wars um, uh, originals too. Are you interested in that? No, I only care for Star Wars in the movies. That's it. Yeah, that's kind of the same deal with me. And what about you, Hound? Uh, honestly. Uh, I would subscribe if, like, if they have, like, for the Marvel stuff, obviously. And, like, all their, like, Marvel TV shows I'm really excited for. Also, for, um, it would be really cool if they put some, like, early classic, early 2000s to mid uh, Disney, t- Disney Channel shows and movies. Yeah, that's all it would take for you to, like, just be like, here, yeah. here Disney, here's my money, just take it. Yeah, they could put in some, uh... Like Raven, Phil for the Future, yeah, uh, Kim Possible, you know, mm. all that ish. Yeah, I think that's kind of a given. Like, they will have all their original programming that, you know, uh, that they have produced over the years. So <laughs> it'll be interesting. And what about you, uh, uh, Sean? Wait, wait, hold on. I just hope Disney Plus doesn't turn out like DC Universe because DC Universe. Like, doesn't have really anything on there right now. Yeah, so, <laughs> I see what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, I, I am subscribed to it, so, like, I feel like I should have waited to, like, subscribe to it. So, like, I feel like uh, Disney should, like, have a bunch of things on it before they, like, release it to the public. 
Yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, they have like a lot of original programs coming around like summerish, but I see what you're saying. They and they I don't think they have all the original movies and stuff there yet. They're slowly uh, bringing it in. Like it's kind of like WWE Network. They didn't have like a lot when they first started. They slowly mm-hmm. started reeling in the original ECW, uh, you know, WCW stuff. So yeah. That's how think, the TV shows are probably going to be, like, maybe second or third year of Disney Plus is when the first, like, Marvel show would be on it. Like, Scarlet Witch of Vision, the Bucky and Falcon. Yeah, I think mostly because of curiosity, they will get the subscribers to see what these TV shows are like. And, and apparently they're, like, canon to the MCU, not, like, the Netflix ones. Right, M- more canon to the, yeah, I see what you're saying, yeah. yeah. And Sh- Sean, go ahead. Yeah, I gotta agree on Hound on, with Hound on this one because uh, adding all the uh, Marvels, like the new Marvel things, is the biggest draw for me. And also, if they brought back all the early two thousands uh, Disney Channel shows, that's definitely a big like nostalgia thing for me, which I would love to. After that, I would pay for it. Yeah. And is that like ideal pricing for you too? Like Tyler said, like ten or eleven. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, ten, about ten bucks would be fine. Yeah. Yeah, like, and and I there's like strong rumors of them maybe bringing in a tier system, like pay this much for this content and this much for this. Like, I guess that's fair. Like, I mean, uh, yeah, I can see families like I can see them having like a family package just for like, the kids. Family package, yeah. Yeah, maybe one for like, uh, like a single guy or a single person. And then one for uh, like, single guys need that in single package. Yeah, the singles package. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then the family package. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, uh, Ziggler, go ahead. Um, I'm not looking forward to Disney Plus at all. I'm probably not even gonna buy it because I really don't need it. I mean, I collect right. all the movies anyways. I have all the Star Wars, all the MCU. I don't really need a Vision and Scarlet Witch series or a Loki series. The only thing that'll probably give me my money that I'll probably uh, get um, is a Daredevil Season 4. <laughs> I mean, apparently there's a rumor that they're going to have a Moon Knight series. So. If, they, if they have a Moon Knight series and a Daredevil Season 4, then fucking yeah, yeah I'm going at it. There's not going to be a Daredevil Season 4, 100%. Uh, you don't know that. Charlie Cox said he is not done with a dev- devil character, and I like Charlie Cox, so yeah, I like him. Anything. He could, like, yeah, no, you he like could, Charlie like, Cox. write a comic book or something, or he could, like, produce something like of Daredevil. I'm still, I have hope that season four of Daredevil will carry on to Disney+, Plus, and if they do that, then yes, Disney+, Plus will have my money. Like, but... I, would, I would love it to, if, a, um, if a season four were to happen. And if we're, like, all, all of a sudden connected to the MCU, I would love it. But I just don't see it, like, happening. Because, like... Marvel well, they set up not... Bullseye, too, at the last episode. So I yeah. want Bullseye back again, too. So... Yeah. Like, Disney... Spoilers. Like, they want their own version of, like, their characters. They're, they don't like the X-Men characters. They're not going to use the Fox ones at all. They want their own version... So they can, like, stand out against... Yeah, but the Daredevil was their own version. I mean, uh, Disney and Netflix had, like, this um, fucking agreement or whatever. I'm not sure that's what you call it, but that's what they had. And Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Punisher, all of that, they said it was part of the MCU. So that was still part of the MCU. I mean, uh, it's kind of connected. It is is connected to the MCU. Like, season two of Jessica Jones was, like, the closest one. Where do you I didn't see season two of Jessica time? Jones. The only uh, uh, MCU series on Netflix that I care about are The Punisher and Daredevil. And so what would get me to subscribe to Disney Plus is uh, Punisher season three, Daredevil season four, and a Moon Knight uh, so ba- series. So basically more right. Marvel. And that's, like, the uh, theme I've been seeing in the chat uh, so far, like, <laughs> marvel programming because i feel like that's disney's bread and butter right now like because if you look at disney's overall box office from last year uh more than 60 to 80 percent of it came from marvel properties so so this i mean our uh discussion pretty much proves that disney 
needs to, you know, uh, run with Marvel while it's hot right now. So that's probably going to get them more subscribers, Marvel content. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Uh, moving on to our second topic. Uh, so Cam can come back for this. <laughs> so AEW had their second uh uh, press conference yesterday and man it was a big one actually yeah it was fun Cringy yeah, it was fun. points but it was overall pretty pretty cool how is it that nobody got thrown in the pool yeah, yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> cannonballs like come on that's that's a wrestling thing like somebody's got a cannonball in the pool mm-hmm. yeah i'm surprised one of the young boys didn't like duplicate the man the booted there bail. Yeah, they kept it professional for the most part, but it it was a crazy event, and the roster is looking uh, pretty good so far. Like they've added some uh, big names. Like you go, whoa! Uh, I can't believe like they're there. Like Chris Jericho, Pac, some some recognizability, and of course they got some talent outside that. The Lucha of- Brothers, Sammy Guevara. Right, like talent, like a lot of people don't know about, but if they if the more mainstream audience sees them, they'll be like, wow, uh, this talent is crazy. So they have a good mixture going on. It's not just WWE guys. It's not just TNA guys. You know, it's they're bringing in original talent. They're developing their own talent. Very few WWE guys. I, I mean, I think the only main WWE guys you would even call would be obviously Jericho, but I don't think Pac. And yeah. Cody. And and Cody, they don't really like Cody need too, that many. But, like, but yeah, Cody has ad- established himself as like a hot commodity in the Indies, and Jericho recently came off a WWE run. So I see what you're saying, though. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So we're gonna start with Cam, though. Cam, oh, what was your reaction to uh, something that happened and didn't really catch a lot of us by surprise? Kenny Omega signing with AEW. What was your reaction to that? I saw it coming. Yeah, uh, I mean, it was just like, yeah, it was just Omega going to AEW was pretty much a given at that point. Yeah, he wasn't yeah. gonna show up to w- in WWE. In for me, it would be way too early to for him yep. to show up. Meanwhile, another thing, there are people actually wanting him to show up at the uh, Rumble, which would actually be a breach of contract, which is illegal. Sean. Oh fuck you. <laughs> hey, WWE could have worked out some kind of deal with New Japan. Nah. Yeah, they could have. Nah, okay. you're delusional if you Kenny, think that. I'm pretty sure Kenny didn't wrestle any matches during his last week with New Japan. Yeah, I don't Boy, think so. On Rumble night, he didn't have a match. Well, but that's think... out of the question anyways, because he is not going to WWE. I don't think he's ever going to WWE because he's a big name, man. He's like... He... He's going to WWE one day. Like it's it's a given. Like I I, I doubt it. I doubt he would. Down Same the road, the young I think bucks. eventually all. I think like towards I think the, the end young, of their career. I think the young bucks and uh, Kenny will never be in WWE. I think AEW is going to be a pretty big deal. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe the fan base is there. Like this isn't something like, hey, let's do this. Let's show the WWE that they're not the big boys in the town anymore. It's it's not that, like, a lot of people don't understand this, but they're just trying to be an alternative. They're just trying to bring professional wrestling back to its root, you know, be more yeah, fan they're, oriented. They're changing the world. Right, changing the universe. So, the, I mean, but they're, WWE is actually taking them as a threat. Like, I mean, WWE can do whatever they want. Yeah, they that's, just, I, they I just, think that's amazing. Let like, me tell you guys something. They just came off of. Makes, uh, makes WWE better. Right. So they just uh, WWE just came off their best uh, year uh, revenue wise. They just had about nine hundred and thirty million dollar revenue this year. So I mean, they're doing fine. But if they want to worry about AEW, that's up to them. AEW is not worrying about WWE because they're not trying to compete. Uh, they're just trying to bring uh, new faces in, uh, maybe with some uh, faces from WWE. You know. Uh, and just bring a new kind of professional wrestling uh, to the mainstream audience that hasn't had competition with WWE since, you know, the late 90s. Very true. Yeah. yeah. And uh, 
Sean, I wanted to ask you, oh, who are your favorite signings so far? I mean, Kenny's obviously the biggest one, and yeah. uh, Jericho. Uh, but Pac was a really good one that I'm, I'm extremely happy about. Um, we got uh, the Lucha Bros, which I'm super pumped about. And I think more to come in the future. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm surprised that uh, Marty, Marty Skrull isn't signed yet. Or uh, I think he's still under contract yeah. for Ring of Honor. Or yes. he was just under contract for a while. But I see him definitely coming in the future, and I hope to see more uh, good faces that are actually going to branch out to something new. Maybe like maybe the Briscoes would come in there, which would be amazing. I'm a big Briscoes fan, and uh, maybe we see. Uh, I don't know. Is uh, is Bandito's not signed with them, is he? No, Bandito has signed a three-year contract with Ring of Honor, so he won't be signing with AEW. Oh yeah, so never mind. Never never remember that. But like. In the future, like going going um going in the future, I would love to see guys like uh, Bandito, Marty Skrull, and uh, the Briscoes coming in uh, to AEW. That would make it like it's already like jam packed beyond belief with such amazing talent that even adding though even adding these guys would be like holy shit. Like, yeah. Perfect talent. Who we are meeting on Sunday? Me and Ziggler are actually. So. Oh yeah, you guys are meeting Marty. That's cool. Yeah. Well, I'm meeting Marty. He's uh, I'm, and uh, we're meeting the Briscoes and Jeff Cobb and and Zack Saber Jr. and Bandito. Oh, oh yeah, cool. that's gonna be cool. Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe you guys can make a video diary and we can post it on the. Oh, we will. Yeah, that would be cool. Ooh, that would be cool, like a vlog. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we we do that itself. We have a whole vlog. Um, on Ziggler's YouTube Yeah, page. maybe uh, you can well, ask some of the wrestlers to give a shout out to WNRC. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, you can, we yeah, definitely will. Funny. And I'll get that free plug in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They'll probably be like, who the fuck are they? <laughs> <laughs> Startup <laughs> indie podcast. <laughs> yeah, and it's already going to be intimidating enough meeting the Briscoes. I'm already nervous as fuck, really. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Ziggler, I had a question for you. Uh, who, give me one or two names that you would like to see signed to AEW, like that are uh, in WWE or TNA right now. Oh, that are in WWE or TNA? Yeah. Uh, can't be like anyone else out out of there. Uh, I mean, cause uh, I want to know those guys because uh, outside of uh, the Impact and uh, WWE. Uh, a lot of wrestlers are freelancing, so anybody can sign. But uh, the TNA and uh, WWE, it's a different kind of beast, more uh, uh, exclusive contract. So who do you think from the, either the Impact or the WWE roster can benefit from going to AEW? Um, someone who can benefit. I know he just uh, came to WWE like a few years ago, and they're and- still not using him right. Chris motherfucking hero. I mean... Who? I, All I know is Cash is Ono. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I, I fucking hate that name, Cash is Ono. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm just fucking with you, but yeah. Yeah, but I would like to see Chris Hero departure from WWE because he's got signed there twice and they are not using him correctly he's yeah. my favorite wrestler of all time he's one of the best wrestlers to ever do like, it when he returned he returned like as a, like a surprise or so, like something against nakamura when he was nxt champion that was like years ago nothing i was i was he very match or anything I was very pissed off when he signed the WWE again because I knew they were gonna do this. I fucking knew it. I was so pissed like, off that he signed the WWE. You it. Like in the Ziggler role right now, he's like putting over the new talent. Yeah, I know, but he's like so fucking good. He he should have been NXT champion by now because he was. He, I just love Chris Hero so much. So yeah, I was like super hyped. Like I never really knew who he was in the Indies. I just knew he was like this like cool guy so when he got like signed to NXT I was like really excited I thought his theme song was cool I still think some of his like new matches are cool the one with Matt Riddle was like super funny when he, like, yeah, I, three seconds. yeah I love Chris Hero like when he was like in PWG and ROH and Evolve yeah but when he was nah, they just fucked him up alright second one second one um <laughs> I don't know the second one um I guess I don't follow Impact that much but 
If there's yeah, guys I want to see in AEW, it's the Rascals uh, from Impact, uh, Desmond Xavier and Zachary Wentz. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, there, I believe Wolf they're Hunt? in. I believe they're in Impact, or I, I maybe they're Impact sure. Champions. I'm not sure. I don't follow it, but. I know they're the PWG World Tag Team Champions, and they're damn good, so I would love to see them in oh, AEW. Yeah, them, them versus the Bucks. Oh, yeah, that was a good match in PWG, too. Yeah. Yeah, that was um, on three Mendes five. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's move on to our third topic. I, I wait, think wait, you guys wait, will... hold on. Hold on. I didn't get to me yet. Like, to be honest, I think it would be pretty funny if they signed Grimm. Like two matches. Oh, Grim from the Grim Toy Show. Fuck that! That oh, stock drop down the damn drain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if they want to lose all their money, then Grim. yeah. I, I love Grim. I do love Grim, but like, no. no. Yeah. yeah, his recent videos are just kind of like, eh. He's like even like uh like using AE AEW's like like name for like clickbait. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah, that's... I think it's like A W E. You're like, ah, oh, this is a new wrestling company. Uh, just trying to steal GTS. I don't know. I don't really watch his videos anymore. Yeah, I I think I used to watch him like a few years ago, but yeah, that's a that's a name I haven't heard in a while. Wow. I never yeah, heard me too. Like, an actual one, like a like a serious one, would probably be like one of the wrestlers on his shows. I think it's his name, like Jay Evans. I think he's a pretty good wrestler. He he would pretty cool if he was like. Side to AEW. Yeah, I mean they just got a scout, you know, like a uh, you know, Cody and the Bucks have been going to like a lot of uh, indie shows and like scouting guys. So, you know, a lot of people have been saying, oh, they might be trying to uh, just sign WWE or you know Impact guys. Nah, they're like scouting all over the world. Like they're just signing the best talent around. Like we. Heck, they might sign ta- talents like none of us have even heard of, and we'll be fans of those talents in like a year or so. So it, it's I'm really, I'm really happy with the signings they already got, like the Lucha Brothers. I'm, I'm a big fan of them. Uh, Sammy Guevara, I'm new to Sammy Guevara. I've been, uh, I've been oh, yeah. uh, watching him for like a year or two now, but he's yeah, damn good. Heard- yeah, Sammy actually. Uh, so Josiah and so my friend Josiah uh, and Sammy actually. Josiah Trumbler, fuck yeah. Yes, the he- Josiah. He Shout trained out. With Sam- I think he's trained with Sammy for a little bit, so you know they got a connection. Oh, we did. There. Yeah. Ooh. Oh shit, we got- man! I didn't know that. Yo, we yeah, we got him on the on the podcast if we can. Yeah, like, it's- right. I haven't yes. talked to Josiah in years, man. Yeah, Sammy was actually yeah. at Josiah's first match, so you know they got a connection going there. Oh, it- really? Sammy was his first match? No, no, it was at his first match. Like, oh, was- I was yeah. like, he wrestled Sammy. What the fuck? Where have I? But been? I- <laughs> but I think he's pretty close to wrestling Sammy though, like, cause he's branching out outside of Texas, so yeah, it's crazy. Wait, what? What's his uh, IG account again? Oh, something? CM Punk Universe. Oh yeah. No, he is is Jay Trumbler now. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. his personal. Yeah, that's the more reckoned. It, yeah. His name is like yeah. JT Royce, right? Yeah, yeah. that's his. Yeah, his wrestling name. persona. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. would be pretty cool if someone of, uh, of like the people in the IG like WC or whatever would. Like get signed. Yeah, like, I mean, uh, my, AW, my, right? <laughs> that girl, like, what's her name? Mariah Mead. Right. She yeah, made Mariah her Mead. Yeah. Match. Also, now uh, Shima is working with uh, AEW. Now I saw. Oh really? Wow, that's a big. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. Matt Matt Jackson posted on his Instagram that uh, Shima is working with them now. So. Wow. Yeah, and Where's they also had a partnership time? with AAA and OWE. So. They're getting, they're making moves, a lot of moves. Yeah, I'm just waiting for them to get a contract deal for TV. Oh, yeah, TV I, think, deal. I think it's close. That's yeah, like the, the biggest like thing they have. All I, I heard was like TBS or TNT. That's yeah, that's the rumor right now. Yeah, yeah TBS would be so cool. Yeah. I hope it's not access, like you said, Hound. Access. I don't have I don't, access. See, a lot of people don't have access, like me. I don't have. I don't have access on my. Yeah, I have it. Right. I have like NJPW on demand anytime. I can just anytime yeah. I want. To talk you're, to you, so. you're lucky, but a lot of us, you know. Yeah, I don't have access, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I better not be that. I have I have TBS and TNT, so hopefully it's one of those two. 
Yeah, dude, I don't, I don't like so scared. I'm not gonna have the channel for like when SmackDown moves to Fox. I'm like, I'm actually kind of scared. No, Fox. I think that's everybody has. Everybody should have Fox because yeah, that's yeah. Like more, a very Fo- general. It's, it's gonna be on channel. Fox Sports, right? Fox Sports One. No, it won't be. It it's gonna be on Fox the channel channel. I think X, for Xfinity it's like Channel Twelve. You know the uh, main Fox broadcast. I have, I have a dish, so I don't know anything. <laughs> yeah, I, it's a yeah, but. Uh, Fox is m- more like it's it's an it's an um let me think what's the number uh around 150 million views like that's how many uh views it can Disney get. owns Fox now so that's gonna be fun. Actually, Disney doesn't own Fox; they own 21st Century Fox. Oh is, yeah, 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 yeah. Which is the that. subsidiary of uh, Fox with all their movie properties. Because Fox wants more uh, sports-oriented live programming. That's why they got SmackDown, because they wanted their the live programming. Could you imagine if Disney, like... And UFC just, UFC just left Fox for ESPN, yes. too, so... Yes, ESPN Plus, yeah. Weren't there no, ESPN. They, they're, they're, on, they're on ESPN and ESPN Plus, too. Oh, yeah, so. both. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, Disney owns ESPN, I'm pretty sure. They buy yeah, them. they do, yes. Yeah. Yes, that's correct, yes. They do? Yeah. Yeah, wow, man. Disney, Disney owns everything, owns man. Yeah, yeah, Disney owns you know? everything. Disney's Disney gonna own the world. <laughs> Fuck, Soon they're gonna man. buy freaking Nickelodeon and then uh, like Cartoon Network and like, yeah. yeah. Crazy. But yeah, UFC. Disney's talk, everything. Let's talk UFC here. Since I don't know UFC's next next up, I know next up, a lot of us don't. Tomorrow we don't, don't follow it. Tomorrow night, Robert Whittaker versus Kelvin yeah, uh, Gaslam for the world middleweight title. He all got yeah. subject. Who? All right. Who? Wait. Speaking of Disney. Wait. Yeah, speaking Whittaker. of Disney, I think you guys are gonna like this topic, uh, and I think Tyler can come back for this topic. We're gonna talk hey. uh, Marvel MCU. We're gonna talk Avengers. Oh. Avengers yeah. Endgame? Age of Ultron. No, <laughs> we're gonna talk Avengers. Yo, Endgame. I love Age of Ultron. Avengers on like Annihilation. MCU yeah. Let's now, here, yeah. Now here's what anyone's done. Now here's the thing, okay? Uh, me personally, I I don't really like to think of Avengers Endgame too much because I get in the mode of speculation mode like i put on a conspiracy hat i go okay what's gonna happen what's gonna happen yeah like i don't want to get too overhyped right like, exactly the movie and then like watch it as kind of like eh. right like, the last jedi that's, that's blasphemy watch your mouth no for god it's not gonna volume happen two, i i was ha- so hyped for volume two then i watched it and then i was like Eh, it was good. The Last Jedi was good. The fuck are you talking about? We're not talking well, about Star Wars. Movie. I, I haven't watched The Last Jedi in a while. I, kind of I liked The Last Jedi, dude. The, last okay. Je- the only dude, thing I, I didn't really... like about The Last Jedi, spoilers, Snoke dies. That's the only thing I don't like about yeah, it. That, that, was, that was pretty random. I really need to get back into Star Wars. Yeah, let's not talk about Star Wars. That's a whole <laughs> different can of worms. That's no, Star December. Wars Star Wars is owned by the same company. As as Star Wars sucks. All right, Endgame. So. Endgame, yes. <laughs> what? So, Fuck you. Gotta, what? We okay. had Endgame. Hold on, hold on. You I got a simple little... question. Who's talking? Okay. I got a simple question. Who's, who's, who's this? A who's very this? simple question. Oh. Just scream out your answers. Um, oh, boy. Okay, so this statement is going to be followed by a question mark. Here's the statement. Three hours Avengers Endgame. Say it out loud. Yes, yes Dad. Yes. 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 Do it. No. <laughs> Today, I want, I want, I want, no. I, want, I, want I, I said no because I want four hours. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why. I love long movies. Just sitting down and just like watch a movie. Like today I watched Watchmen. Like the first time, it's like an almost three hour movie, and I, I thought I was like, I don't think Watchmen's cut. three theatrical cut was three hours. The director's cut, the, 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 the director's cut is three hours. You said it you want four hours, hours, make it six. No, make it, make it six and a half. Well, let's just go with the ten, take it or leave it. No, but um. Uh, there's a rumor that there's an intermission. I do not want an intermission yeah. at all. I, I don't want. I don't want it to take. I don't want it to take me out of the movie. When I'm in the movies, I want to watch the whole thing beginning to end with no breaks, no nothing. I want to be in and out of the movie. I want to be, the best dude. Of the beautiful let, script. Okay, yeah, thank you for interrupting, uh, faggot. 
Fuck you. <laughs> Avengers Fuck you too, Endgame, part two. Yeah. Yeah, but I the do not want intermission. The, the only yeah. thing with a problem I see with three hour uh, movie is it. I don't know. Like a lot of times. Uh, there was an intermission movie. during Lego Movie Two. Really? There, there was. was there? Yep. <laughs> yeah, uh, there was. There okay, was. Um, the, there's no joke. The Lego Movie Two. No, no, way, Sean, no went, Sean went to the bathroom during the intermission, so he didn't see it. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I laughed my ass off. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody gives a shit. Okay, end game, take end game. notes. End game. Yeah. No, don't take notes. Yeah. That's, actually, no, uh, no that's like the please. only question I had for end game. Uh, I know, like, we just screamed what? out our answers. What about yeah. the Super Bowl trailer? No, uh, Super Bowl trailer, yes, we need to talk about that. That was going to be my follow-up to that. Like, uh, What did you guys think of that Super Bowl spot? Who goes I first? Loved Good. I loved it. Perfect. I thought I, like, it showed how... Oh, I guess Hound goes first. <laughs> <laughs> I, loved it. I just loved it. Like, It made my stomach hurt, which is like, like, oh, it just made me feel so sad. You should see a doctor about that. That's not good. <laughs> yeah. Like every time I watch the end of Infinity War, it always makes my stomach hurt. It always makes me, it always makes me sad that the Avengers lost, and now I want to see them rebuild, team up together, go through the quantum realm or whatever, and defeat Thanos. Can I give my opinion on the trailer, please? Yes. No, oh, go to hell. Sean. No. <laughs> we'll let Sean go, and then I'll let Tyler go. Go ahead, Sean. Thank you, Syed, for being so nice to me. All right. So. That that uh trailer dropped on my birthday, which was by far the best birthday present I could have possibly get. Um, it was not a trailer, it was a TV spot. On who says move <laughs> on? And because I think it's Thanos, because it sounds like Josh Brolin. Ziggler is being a bitch, and he thinks it's Captain America, which is so. I, it's not Captain it America. Is, I know it is it's Captain America. It is like, not because like, Tony like, says like, some people. And then Thanos I, says, I think move Captain, on. I think Captain America says the whole thing. Some people move on, but not us. But yeah, how, he not. doesn't sound like that. He Why can he if he makes his, his voice, voice changes. Low. I don't know. Yeah. Why the fuck would he make his voice? Why the fuck would God. Thanos? Why the fuck would Thanos say that? Is what that what you're saying? Say Dude, Why listen to me. Would Why that? would Thanos say that? Okay, Thanos has Thanos to never do with said. The TV spot. Fun Thanos really has something Thanos, one considers Thanos, to put Thanos, when, Thanos, when balancing Thanos, the universe. Thanos, 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 Thanos. Thanos was not even in that TV spot. Thanos was barely in the trailer. The trailer in the TV. We won the world war. We Shut won the, the war. It's long ago. What? Thanos, uh, the the TV spot for Endgame and the trailer for Endgame are specifically centered fault. around the Avengers. She's okay? just not my type. Dude, let me it's talk. It's a TV spot, and Thanos is not in the TV spot at all. Yeah, he's it's not even a TV spot. Avengers. Why would Thanos be talking in it, dude? Who the else TV is spot, sound like the TV he did spot, saying, the TV on. spot, the TV spot, and the trailer who are else? all centered. Who else? Who else? Who else? Talk to who else? Who else would sound like him saying move on? Who else would do that? Who? All right. Who? Cap, 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 let's, not, Cap, let's not open that up, all right? <laughs> okay, dude. The TV spot Jeez. and the trailer are all centered around the Avengers. It's not my There's fault only she a wasn't glitch. into me. She just wasn't the right girl. What? Are we done? Yeah. Let's, dude. let's let Tyler speak. He's like trying to get Sean is just annoying the fuck out of me right now. So I just Hey, hey. Right you're one to talk, bitch. Oof. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say that beginning where they showed all the dead characters. Loki wasn't in it, so Loki's alive. Um, he died he three snap. Out. <laughs> so it doesn't count. What was that? <laughs> the snap. He only showed what? the snap to kill, though. Uh, Vision was in it, though, so. Ooh, true. Uh, no. Take it, Hound. True, he was. But yeah. But anyways, I still really like the trailer. We know nothing about the movie. No Captain Marvel. Uh, well, they were just centered I, on I our agree. fallen heroes, and Loki right. was not about a hero. Loki on, was a I villain. I agree with you. It's short, simple, sweet, to the point, nothing like, extra. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I just want to go. Yeah, into I, movie I like it. Except that blind. voice thing. Move on. Who said that? <laughs> Captain of fucking like America said the I'm whole sentence. Was like in a cowboy I, uniform. I think it was Captain America who said move on. Why the yeah, fuck does he does not sound America. like that? <laughs> Okay. Well, Cap- it is not Thanos, dude. How- it would make Thanos no sense if it was Thanos. Dude, I'm it would make no sense. Right 
throat. And I'll punch you right in the dick, okay? Dude, it would make no sense for Thanos to say move on because it centered the TV spot was centered around the Avengers and Thanos was not in that TV spot. Doctor so Strange no never said to bring together a group of a unique four or whatever Strange people. Doctor Strange is a part of the Avengers. No, Thanos not is Avengers. not a he's part. A yes, he is. Man. Yes, he is. Doctor Strange is part of the Avengers. Thanos no, is not, not part of the Avengers. <laughs> yes, he is. Doctor Strange is part of the Avengers. Thanos the Avengers. is not part of the Avengers. You warned me, you dumb fuck. You don't know. Yes, Thanos is not part of the Avengers. He is a villain. He is a madman. He is a mad titan. He would not. He did not say move on. Captain America said move on. I, 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 kill yourself. Meant to right, hold on, hold on. The fuck it's up meant in the to back of the line. You dumbass. I, I, dude, dude, he did not, not say, move did not say move, move on. It would not make sense for him to say move on right, because that up, is a sentence that Captain America guys, would already start with. Calm down. All right, calm down. Calm down. All right. All right. We'll edit that part. Don't worry. All right. Wait, hold on. I'm not editing out that part. That's a funny thing. I want to keep it. That last part is okay, but one before that. That's okay. We'll talk later. <laughs> no, we're. I'm putting. I'm putting yeah, everything. Don't ruin the magic. Yeah, that that was magic, dude. That's pure magic. I'm not. I'm not editing anything out. I love you, dude. I love you too, bro. Love you too, bro. All right. Wait. So I got. <laughs> I got one last question for y'all, and this was actually pretty big news, uh, because Bob Iger on the conference call was talking about Marvel movies. I'm sorry. What are we talking about now? We're still, we're still We're talking about Beyond. I, I, got, Ooh, I, got I got I got sidetracked. What are we talking about now? Oh yeah, we're still talking Marvel. So Bob okay, Iger recently said that uh, when they do a Deadpool movie, that it's gonna be R rated, and they will Yee! bring in more R rated movies into the MCU. Ooh. So obviously the the obvious candidates for an R-rated movie is uh, Deadpool, obviously, when it comes into the MCU. And, of course, uh, the Black Widow movie. So, I wanted to ask you guys, uh, uh, would you guys like to see R-rated movies in MCU? Yes. So, I wanted yes. to uh, start Who with goes first? Can we do it, Can we do it go- in order? Like, not yep. talking over each other? Yeah, well, I'm going to go with Cam first, because I wanted to hear his thoughts on R-rated movies in MCU. God damn it, Ken. Why not? It's yes, a good idea. Not? There have been, there have been recently in recent years there have been R-rated and Marvel movies like Deadpool, like Logan, and they have done successful, and they were successful. Big business. So, yeah. so if the MCU does an R-rated movie, it would be ten times as successful as Logan or Deadpool. Right. That's Deadpool. not true. Okay. Deadpool was an amazing movie. I mean, no, Logan, <laughs> Logan, was, an amazing Logan movie. was an amazing movie. Yeah. And what about you, Hound? Uh, yeah, I approve of it. Like, um, I feel like it's a nice change. We probably will get one rated R movie per phase, like phase four or five or whatever. Like, I think it's a nice change for like the PG-13 to like rated R and the kind of like different things coming oh, together. Yeah. Yeah, and I think for like for example, a Black Widow movie, like the time is now. Like they should have probably done that like a while ago when the character was at its peak. But I think yeah, like before is, Age of Ultron should have been her movie. Or like I mean, you know, the post Age of Ultron or whatever, they could have done a, a a Black Widow movie. But her story is so dark and gritty. It's like you need that R-rated setting uh, for that movie. Very true. Um, I don't. If Black Widow movie is gonna be the first rated R movie, I I don't want that to be the first rated R MCU movie, the Black Widow movie. If any character, well, there's only four characters that really need R ratings, and that is Wolverine, Deadpool, Punisher, and Moon Knight. There's only four characters, and and that need an R rating movie. And if they're gonna but make wait, Moon, Knight, Moon Knight, which to be rated R, because he beats the ever living fuck out of people. That's why, just like the Punisher. Daredevil oh also does it. What? Daredevil also beats the shit out of people. Now yeah, but he doesn't like. People. But he doesn't kill them. He does not kill them. He does not kill them. Yeah. That's so, no, Daredevil doesn't kill people. No, I mean Moon Knight. No, Moon Knight kills people. Yeah. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. He beats the ever living fuck out of them and then kills them. All right. So rated our MCU movies. Um. 
Black Widow should not be rated R. I don't. No, I, 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 think, I think the story, like the background behind Black Widow's character, should be rated R, and that would make a good, like, first uh, female leading MCU movie rated R would be a, a good thing because her, the her first character. female leading movie is Captain right, Marvel. Right. Uh, but here's the thing, though. Uh, That's rated R. You bitch. look at because I was researching like what is Black Widow's actual uh background story and it's it's very similar to i don't know if you guys have seen this movie it's called like red sparrow with jennifer yeah Warren. yeah the black widow knockoff movie I mean, yes yeah. it's very black similar to that black but black. imagine that movie but like even more grim subjects like uh her not being able to interact with outside world it wasn't that movie rated her. R or the pg-13 it was i think pg-13 so it was a very soft version of the Black Widow story. I really don't need a Black Widow movie though. What well, I really we're getting if, one, if we're gonna leave it, I I, I want to leave it. <laughs> just okay. leave yeah, it. Like... Just leave it alone. I don't want a Black Widow movie. If I'll take another movie. Other, if there's any other female lead movie, I want it to be Scarlet Witch and Vision. I want, yeah. I feel I'll like that was way Witch more like Black Widow. With, there are better female Marvel heroes than. Uh, Black, Black Widow Black. is and always will be a sidekick. But her, we don't, uh, we don't have a Robin thing, though, movie, do they, we? Because uh, you know MCU hasn't got into the spinoff territories yet. But if they were to go in spinoff territory, Black Widow would be ideal because of like how brutal. No, her story Scarlet is. Witch and Vision would be ideal. As Black Widow is a sidekick. Through and, and you know through. that's the thing. Like you might be right. Uh, as as see here's the thing. A lot of studios, it's just. Uh, the matter of getting the right script, and I think they're closer to getting a Black Widow script rather than a Vision and Scarlet Witch script. I also want Incredible Hulk too, so yeah. That's uh, really Hulk might die fucking fu- fucking Universal. I I hate I hate Universal so much. <laughs> Fuck you, Universal. Oh my Hulk too. Oh my Incredible Hulk too, Universal. Give me back my rights. All right, anyways. Yeah. Uh, did I get Tyler's take on this, Tyler? No, you did not. No, Tyler, you did not. talk. Yeah, Tyler, go ahead. Um, I think this Black Widow movie, Rated R, will not happen. At least not yet. I think the first Thank one you. will probably be Deadpool, if that ever happens. Right, yeah. Fuck yeah. But, like, I don't think... I don't know Black Widow well enough. Like, she has not... I, mean, I want a movie, but Rated R, no, because... I think her best character arc will still be Winter Soldier. I don't. I don't Honestly. think Black Widow is gonna sell too. You know. Yeah, it, it doesn't happen. Like, like, like he said Marvel, before, she's uh, the usually the been the side movie. So movies. here's the thing with the R-rated movies. You usually what stu- studios do is make them very low budget. So even if the movie like flops, it'll break even. So most likely if they do a movie like that it'll like have a low budget so it it'll do pretty okay on the box office so they'll still make profit trust me after after captain marvel releases people are going to be wanting demanding more female led superhero movies from marvel trust me not that's Wonder Woman really, on the not other side not really i don't like what female the fuck do you movies know? i know everything like a commercial or whatever i get even more hyped for captain marvel okay so see i'm just i'm just hyped inverse. for endgame right now it, so, that's yeah. what sucks about if, if captain marvel like was like came out like maybe like last year like after ant-man i would be more hyped but i'm just really
kind of whole thing with Nick Fury and the Pager, so. Well, it's called man, a twist in the plot. I just hope she gets snapped. We'll have be to hilarious. see when it comes out. All right, sounds good. And with that topic, we're going to end the podcast. Thank you guys for a pretty awesome episode. And Hell we'll yeah. See. Guys, if yep. you could keep up with all of us. <laughs> yeah, Yo, that was you know, fun. That's the thing. It was a challenge, but I but I liked it. I think we had some good conversations. So we'll see everybody next week. And hopefully uh, Ziggler will link the other episode too so you guys can check out the last